Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, let's learn about Coles function. Okay, this is again a DAX function. Now let me show you my data. So I have taken a small sample table to explain you this Coulez function. So if you see this, I have a table where I do have the products and I do have the sales. So we do have some mobiles which is making some sales like Vivo has made some sales. Redmi phone, it has made zero sales actually, but here we are not seeing that there is no value, no sales value. It means it did not make any sales. OK, no one has purchased that phone. So it's like a zero sales. Sales has not been made. So it should be zero. But here our data is blank. OK, and Samsung has made around 9000 and iPhone also. It did not make any sales. So it's completely blank and Lenovo 8000. So here are our products as well as the sales. Wherever the product is not sold, it did not make any sales. It's blank. OK, it's blank, but ideally it should have some value, right? If it is not making any sales, it should be zero, but it should not be blank. If it is blank, what will happen? Let's see now. Now, in a table, I want to see all the products and what all the sales they have made. All the products which I'm having in this table. Right? So let's see how we will do it. Now I will take this table. One table I am taking and I will show this products and sales. Why I'm seeing only three products here? I'm seeing Lenovo, Samsung and Vivo, but not the other two. Other two, I'm not able to see the values here. If you come to the data view, Redmi is not making any sales. iPhone is also not making any sales. That's why it's blank here. And the blank values are not showing in my visual. Now, if I want to see the total sales, I can see from here, right? The total of the products I can see from here it's a 23,000. Now if I want to get the average. If I want to get the average then I'll create one uh, measure for that. Average of sales. So we can use average function and here I'm taking the sales column. Right. I'm taking this sales column. And now I'll take one card to show you this value. So here I'm taking the average of sales. 7.67 thousand means it is taking the average of these three values and then it is giving the average sales. OK. Ideally, the average should be dependent on all the five, right? It should include all the five products. But it is taking only these three products and it is giving the average value. How the average will be calculated? The total sales value divided by the number of products. Means 23,000 divided by three it is taking. 23,000 divided by three it is taking. That is why you are getting this average as 7.67k now i want to see all the products here as well as the average should be calculated based on all the five products for that what i will do i have to replace wherever there is a blank right i have to replace this with some value ideally we can take zero if it is not making any sales it means this is zero sales so if I make this as zero, then I can do uh, the calculations, right? Aggregations on that sales column that will give consistent results. Now I'm taking this table. And now I will create one new column. I'll give the name as sales updated. 
So here I'm using now the function called Coles, Coles function. I'm using this function. If you see what does this function will do, it will return the first argument that does not evaluate to a blank value. If all arguments evaluate to blank values, blank will be returned. Okay. So in short, if I have to tell, I'll take the sales column. I'll take here the sales column. Okay. Phone of sales I'm taking. If this column is having any blanks, then instead of that blank, give the zero value. Show that value as zero. If it is not having any blank, then give the value present in this column only. Only if blank is there, re replace that with the zero. Don't show th that blank value, rather show zero. That is what this coalesce function will do. I'll click on enter. If you see here, now the new column is created called sales updated. Now I will drag and drop that sales updated column as well as into this visual. Now if I expand this, are you able to see the difference? See here, wherever there is a blank, the sales updated column, it is creating here as zero. Okay, now let me create average. Let me create average, okay. Here also the average formula will be same, right? The average will be total value. The total sales value divided by number of products. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total 5 products we have. Now the average should be calculated based on all these 5 products. Okay. So for that now I will create one new measure. Average on sales updated column. Now I'll take here average function. If I just use this function, this function only will calculate. This function only will calculate the average means total sum of all the uh, sales values, right? iPhone sales, Lenovo, Redmi, Samsung, Vivo, all the complete sales, it will do the sum up divided by the number of um, products. It will only do that average also. Now I will take this sales. Instead of sales, now I have to take this column, right? Sales updated. So I'll take sales updated and I'll click on enter. Now I'll take one more card here. And in this card, I'm going to show you the average which is created on sales updated. If you see here, you can see the difference. When there is a blank value, how the average has been calculated. And when the blank value I'm replacing with zero, see how the average is calculated. So this is the correct way. This is the correct way, right? It has to take the sum of all the value. Total will remain same. Even here blank is there, it is considering only these three values and it is giving the total value. Here zero is there, even if you add zero also, this total sales value will not change. But if you see the average, in the average when you are having blank values, it is excluding the blank and it is only taking these values, right? So 8000 plus 9000 plus 6000 divided by the number of rows or this number of products, right? Three it is taking, three it is taking, it is excluding this blank values and only three it is taking. But all five products we need to consider for average. So in this scenario, after we use Coles function and we are returning zero, wherever the blank values are there, this Coles function, what it is doing, this function is replacing with zero. If it is not blank, it will give the same sales value. And if wherever it is seeing as a blank value, it is giving zero. Okay, so it is giving zero. That's why you are seeing now zero after giving zero. Even in this table, you are seeing all the five products as well as now the average is calculated. All these five products sum divided by five it is taking. That is why you are getting this average as 4.60k. 
so this is about your police function and um, please do like share and subscribe to ksa data vision youtube channel and if you have any queries please comment in the comment box thank you